Hi everyone, myself Dr. Murugan. So today we are going to discuss on the thermal power plant. The important features of the thermal power plant. So this in this steam power plant, the steam is an important medium for producing this mechanical energy. A steam power plant is also called as thermal power plant, which converts the energy that is stored in the fossil fuels in the form of heat energy. This type of steam power plant uses steam as the working fluid. So the steam is produced in this boiler by using coal as a fuel and the water is converted into steam by means of the boiler and from this boiler the heat energy is converted into mechanical energy by means of the steam turbine and the mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy with the help of this generator okay so the layout of steam power plant consists of mainly four circuits that is the coal and ash circuit air and flue gas circuit water and steam circuit and finally the cooling water circuit okay these are the four circuits that is mainly involved in the layout of the steam power plant in the coal and ash handling circuit we see that this circuit the main circuit that is the coal storage and ash handling comes under the coal and uh, coal circuit and the ash storage ash handling comes under the ash circuit so the both the coal and ash handling we can see in now so this circuit consists of coal storage ash storage coal handling and ash handling system so usually the coal is handled by means of the belt conveyors screw conveyors that is the coal from the yard is transported to the store transported from the storage yard to the boiler furnace by means of the various coal handling equipment what are the various coal handling equipment so these are the various stages of the coal handling process such as the coal will be delivered by the road as well as the rail and ship and it is unloaded and it is stored in the outdoor space outdoor space and the coal is prepared and the prepared coal is transferred to the uh, transferred to the system and uh, it is converted uh, storage and it is the implant handling that is the size reductions of the coal particles will be taking place and then waiting and it is entering into the furnace so these are the various processes that is involved in the coal handling process so we know that while burning the ash is liberated right so while burning in the while burning the fuel in the boiler the ash is get deposited at the bottom of the boiler so usually the indian coal contains 30 to 40 percentage of ash that is mainly for the power plant of capacity 100 megawatt which produces 20 to 25 tons of hot ash per hour okay so the coal and ash handling is the main circuit okay as the input uh, coal as the input material and ash as the output material then we can see about the air and the flue gas circuit for combustion we need to supply air so this circuit that is the air and flue gas circuit consists of air filter air preheater dust collector and the chimney from this area that is the from chimney air color air uh, preheater dust collector and chimney here the air is drawn from the atmosphere and it is sent via the air preheater then the dust from the air is removed by means of the filter that is arranged in between this area okay then the waste gas of the flue gas is passed to the chimney it is the waste waste gas is passed to the chimney so when we see this dust collector 
the boiler after combustion the dust will be formed so that the dust has to be removed okay the air uh, air and flue gas circuit removes the dust from the dust collector and it again passes to the filter and it enters into the air preheater and then it leaves to the chimney then the third circuit is the feed water and the steam circuit the feed water circuit consists of boiler feed pump turbine and feed water heater usually the steam is generated in the boiler and passes to the superheater okay it boiler passes to the superheater and it is supplied to the steam turbine the steam is expanded in the steam turbine and it is then passed to the condenser okay the condensate is the high pressure high pressure heater and low pressure heater and the turbine and from the turbine the condensate will be coming into this cooling tower and the feed water at the condenser is coming up from the turbine to the cooling water and the condensation is formed and the uh, steam that is coming out from the turbine is converted into water and this water is again circulated to the pump to the recirculation purpose to the boiler okay last one is the cooling water circuit this circuit consists of the condenser the main condenser cooling water and cooling pump so the very high huge quantity of water is required for condensing the steam in the condenser and the adequate water supply is necessary for the cooling purposes that is required by uh, that is required uh, the required quantity of water is uh, gathered from the oceans rivers or lakes if any adequate quantity of water is not available at the plant site the warm water that is coming out from the condenser is cooled in the cooling tower and it is again recirculated to the pump for the boiler okay so these are the four circuits that are mainly involved in the steam power plant okay